It might actually work. Yeah. You could probably even throw. Huh? I was going to say, you could probably run the uh, skewers right through the chain. Without the S hook. Yeah, you're probably right. Just run through like chain and rot and chain. I think you're right, but. That's on for now, so. Do they get too hot though? Yeah, I was wondering, I don't know how, how much heat those aluminum. Those are aluminum, right? Yeah. I'm not sure how much heat those can take. Well, it should be hot enough right there to cook the brat, I think. Well. Okay, so it's uh, the next day and I wanted to come out and do, I'm doing a couple other videos today, but I wanted to kind of go over the hardware of the tripod because I didn't get a chance to do that in the video and I should have, so this is that. Alrighty, so let's go over the um, contents. First we'll do weight. So here's the tripod and the four skewers together, the chains and the, the bits and pieces. So we're looking at one pound, 5.3 ounces. Where's the grams? That's a milliliter. And uh, for gram guys, uh, 248 grams. All right, so first the tripod. If I can get it open. So here's all the pieces. I'm gonna remove the these are the uh, two dollar and fifty cent skewers, and then each of the legs, which the end part has just a nub, and then all you do is you just screw them together. And screw in the third piece. Like that. And then this one, there's a top to it. So you just screw this together. If it will go together. It can be a little tricky to get the thread started, but. There you go. Alright, so here she is constructed. Got the top here, and then the three legs that go down. You can see the little discoloration from the fire, which I think gives it character. 
and we'll go over accessories. So first we have the chains. So this is a chain. One of the okay. This is a chain that comes with the with the tripod, and then these are the chains I bought from Home Depot. And I just use my multi tool and I cut them down. I actually have uh, four, so I wouldn't be limited on options. And I'll show you. So this chain is the one that goes through the tripod like that and I got the carabiner to keep it from falling through but unfortunately the harp, the uh, chain I got from Home Depot the links don't fit through so because of these pesky little links here it won't actually go through the whole chain, so I gotta make sure I don't lose this one. So that's that. Okay. So chains aside, I just got this little leather pouch. I got I went to an outdoorsman show and they had these for like I think it was like $5 or $10, but it fit perfect for the chains. Now this is just a medicine bottle. What I have in here is I have cotter pins, which I showed in the other video, in case you missed it. I've got a couple of carabiners for um, adjusting the chains. I have uh, these little S hooks. I have four of these. I just have a little two section chunk of chain just in case. I, I couldn't see wasting it. And then I have these uh, these clips here and these are just like from staples. They're just those little binder clips. And I thought I could use them to like at times pinch the chain together because these are all metal and there's nothing that will melt. Well, I mean, with hot enough heat, it would melt. I should have four of these. I don't know what I did with the fourth one. See, I've already lost something on here. That's all right, though, because I've got, you know, literally thousands of these in my workplace. I'll just go grab one. And this is actually just a piece of um, arrow that my buddy uh, Mike gave me so I could use as a bellows and blow on the fire, which I thought was pretty cool. So that's it for hardware. That's pretty burn right there. Mm hmm. Why don't you tell my audience what that stove is? Uh, this is a rocket style stove. It's not technically a real rocket stove because it's not insulated. Yeah. Uh, but it is the traditional shape. So I'm just giving her, uh, this is the first time I've lit it. And uh, first thing you know, kind of want to get some of that paint cured off of there and then we'll, we'll put a canteen on and see yeah. if I can make a hot meal. Uh, Very cold today. Yes. Literally freezing. <clears throat> of course I'll uh, link his channel below so you can go check out more on his stove which is very cool looking. Okay, so one, other, one thing I want to go over real quick is that this is sort of a system that I'm, I'm working on and still tweaking so it's not a finalized tripod system. Uh, there's still things I want to do and some other things I want to adjust and change. And of course, your ideas and feedback are always appreciated. You know, yeah. All right, Get see if that. I can turn this without losing the whole thing. Uh, pardon me, sir. And of course, I forgot to bring tongs, but. Ooh, I've got tongs. Yeah. You want to use them? I think I'm just gonna pull the whole thing.
No, thank you. Thank you. I think it was one of your videos you said something I'd take to the woods all the time. Tongs. Tongs. I was throwing some so stuff in the box. I was like, you never know. I actually had a pair in the back of the truck, but it must have pulled them out for some reason. Oh, well. We got my first aid kit, too, so. All Jeez. right, just checking on the brat. See, I didn't, uh, didn't put it on there square, so it won't, it won't stay rotated up. But David had a great idea and just skewered up here. And then uh, use the skewer as a prop to hold it up. Perfect. And I've already turned the bacon around. Sweet. I'm not really getting as much heat last time, but I think I had more fire. <laughs>